today I have a quick little tutorial for you. This morning when I was out doing chores, I noticed a couple of my uh, Wyandotte Rhode Island Red Crosses had taken flight and were up on top of the chicken coop. So that meant there were going to be some escapes happening. Sure enough, I had one get out earlier. And so there comes a point where you may find yourself needing to clip some wings to keep your chickens safe. Now, clipping wings does not hurt the chicken. It's no different than trimming your fingernails or getting a haircut. It's completely harmless. Uh, it's very simple to do and I'm just going to show you how to do that today. You're all right, baby. So I've got a... Um, got some wood sitting here on some sawhorses I have a project I'm working on. So I'm just going to uh, use this as a surface to set her on so that you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so the first thing you want is something to set your chicken on. This just makes the job a little bit easier. Now, if you're calm, your chicken's going to be calm. So don't be panicking or freaking out or anything like that. Just be nice and calm so they don't have anything to be worried about. Just going to make your job easier so that nobody gets hurt. Now, the only thing that you're going to need is a good pair of scissors. You don't need anything fancy. These are just some crafting scissors. You just want ones that are nice and sharp to cut through the feathers. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take her wing. It's all right, baby. And you're going to stretch it out. And you'll notice there's different sections of the wing. What you're going to want to trim are these long flight feathers right here. Okay? But before I do that, I'm going to feel in here for her actual wing. Now you'll notice this row here of feathers is a little bit shorter than the flight feathers. Now the tip of her wing ends near these. So I'm just going to feel for it. And I'm going to slide my hand down along it. Put my fingers over the end of it so that I'm guarding it. And then with her, her wing stretched out, Again, I've got my fingers over the tip of her wings, so I'm not going to get anywhere near them. I'm just going to take my scissors, and I'm going to trim off those long flight feathers. Now, it might scare her a little bit because she doesn't know what's happening, but this is not going to hurt her. Now, it's as simple as that. Okay? Now, if you want, you can also go ahead and do the other side. Now, generally, just trimming one side is all it takes to keep your chickens from flying the coop because without having long feathers on both sides, they can't really aim where they're going. So they might get a little bit of lift, but they're not going to be able to actually get anywhere. But I'm going to go ahead and do both sides. That way you can see again how I did this. Hi, baby. Now we don't generally name our, our livestock, our chickens, or anything like that unless they're very distinctive. Uh, this one is one of my silver laced wine dots over Rhode Island Red Crosses. Listen to those cicadas. Additionally, our chickens are not generally uh, pets. But they're also not generally all that tame. So for us, you know, we have to catch the chicken and they're not used to being handled, so I'm trying to make this as calm as possible. She's not used to me holding her, so I'm just wanting her to know that this isn't a bad thing. I don't want her to get hurt when I'm doing this. Okay, so again, oh, I know. Doing this left-handed is a little bit awkward, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna pull out her wing, look at where the short layers are that end before the flight feathers. Feel for her wing. I know, I know, I know. I'm doing this lefty and this is hard. I know, it's all right, it's all right. Put your head, put your arm over their head. I'll help keep them a little bit calm. So again, I'm gonna feel for the tip of the wing. I'm gonna put my hand over it and I'm just gonna cut the flight feathers. I know, baby. I know, baby. It doesn't have to be a pretty straight line, especially if you're trying to do it in the opposite direction by yourself. But that's all it takes. And so there we go. She's had a... I know, baby. It's all right. She's had a haircut, so to speak. 
and she's good to go. Now she can go back and join the rest of the flock. All right, so there you go, guys. Just like I said, it's really simple, um, quick and painless, and sometimes you need to do it. Sometimes you've got to be able to keep your chickens inside an enclosure. Um, you want to keep them safe. You don't want them getting out and being uh, vulnerable to predators. So. so that's it, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will be sure to address them. Thanks for watching.